Hey everybody, XCI here. I'm back for another episode where I asked you again, no context poll. I did, that wasn't asking, that was a declaration. No context, I'm not gonna give any context, although you could probably guess from the list of games that are uh, appearing on the list. Your context matters. Try to vote before reading comments. That's just because, you know, you might be swayed one way or the other if you read the comments first. Uh, so it just makes it more fun if you just like speak from your gut. Just give me whatever your feelings are about the choice you've picked. If you want to comment, if you don't, that's cool. Just you know, enjoy, enjoy the ride. Uh, and so without further ado, uh, I mean, I'm not even, uh, I'm not even 24 hours into this one, but I am a hundred votes. And so I have a rule now, if it gets to hundred votes, I will, uh, I need to start, I wanna, I'll try to put some time and get through some of the comments um, and try to get these out the door eventually so that we can have, yeah, some dialogue in it on another video. Just a way to create content, a way for me to still connect with the community in a different way, which is why I wanna use this community tab more, not as just to deliver messages and stuff like that to the community, but also to have an engagement point just like we have in the videos and the episodes that get recorded here we go we got witcher 2 at 41 percent uh no real surprise there uh, everyone has been waiting patiently <laughs> for witcher 2 i don't remember the last time i said it's coming next month but probably somewhere from january to february i don't remember but it was i planned on playing witcher 2 a long time ago and so uh and then just things kept bumping it up bumping it up i just came to realize i had to finish what i had going on just so that i could not so much open up the time but just you know i could get editing out of the way i could concentrate focus more on just witcher 2 and then we can uh, uh we can get those out more consistently so that we can just get through it in a month month and a half how long to beat completionist run is actually uh, over 50 hours is my camera freaking out and like recording all mangled I feel like I'm getting all digitized when I, yeah right there did you see that is that just my capture software or does everything look like hell right now okay anyways Witcher 2 seems to be a 51 hour ish game so if I use my equation multiply it 102 at 20 percent mm, not quite 20 but 120 120 episodes that sound right? Does that sound like too many episodes? 120 episodes of Witcher 2? We'll see. Oh, is completionist run? I think someone explained this to me. It's because there's a choice made in the game where when you make that choice, it changes the entire game or something. So for you to get a completionist run, you have to basically play it twice. So it's probably a 25 hour game. Double it, 50, 20%, 60. Probably a 60 episode, 60 something episode game. Maybe, still kind of long, but doable, but doable. So, uh, Witcher 2. So yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I derailed myself again, but uh, all good. We got uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Also no real surprise because uh, played Assassin's Creed 1. A lot of strong fans of Assassin's Creed came to the channel. I remember a couple of new names appearing in the in the comments for Assassin's Creed. So no shock to me that of course you want me to continue the trilogy. And I think this is officially the start of the trilogy. Uh, the other was more like a prototype of the game or something. And then we have Dose X Human Revolution. This is one of the first games I bought when I started the channel. Um, I don't know where I found out about it or why I wanted to play it. I, I really don't. Or it came on sale and I hadn't even known how Steam worked at the time. And I was like, wow, that's really cheap. And I just, I bought it. I didn't know anything about it. I still don't. I still don't. I bought the entire suite. I tried playing the first game. It was really old and it didn't play right on the system. I had to patch it with something so that it slowed down the cinematics. Um, for the modern systems it was decent, but then the gameplay was like, ooh, that's that's really old. Like I know a lot of people love those X, but I was, it was really old. <laughs> and then the second game was, uh, was it Invisible War? Invincible, Invisible War, does that sound right? Something like that? I might've tried that one. I played it for a bit and I was like, yeah, no, still too old. It still feels like I'm playing uh, Wolfenstein <laughs> or like Doom, but uh, as a thief sort of thing if I want I'm not really like, you know what I'm saying I played like half an hour of the game I was like okay no no it's too old it's too old Let, let's go to human revolution uh, it's more modernized um, I can probably mod this one and it'll be a better experience and then I have dishonored I forget how I found out about a dishonored but probably through steam sale probably like I wasn't really familiar that these sales happened a lot of times <laughs> so it was like a boxing week I was like well, that's a really cheap game so I bought dishonored I'm like oh you can play like a thiefish kind of thing and uh, it kind of like the setting I think the visuals of it I was like I'm a big fan of like the, the just the, the visuals of it without even knowing anything about the game I was like that's the kind of setting I like the kind of experience blah, 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 blah. so uh, it's been on my list for as long as this channel so I put it on here just to see if like anyone kind of saw these, the, well, this one coming. I know I've talked about Dose X games years ago, <laughs> but uh, not really Dishonored. I don't think I've really ever talked about Dishonored, maybe here and there in passing, but 
just to see what you guys thought about it. So there you go. Uh, so let's get into the comments. We have Amanda, Witcher 2, but what I'm truly waiting for is uh, you playing Witcher 3. It's a great game. Witcher 3 is going to take up most of 2020. I'm certain of it. It's going to be Witcher 3 plus the PlayStation 4 games, I think. It's going to be most of 2020. I might slip other things in there if you know, I have time, but that's pretty much how that's going to go. Uh, we have uh, Anka Fenra. Oh damn, this is a hard one. Well, I chose Witcher 2 because uh, on its own, I think I've played it more than uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Although Assassin's Creed 2 is one of my first gaming experiences. I played it on an ancient computer, so I had probably around 10 frames per second. That sounds atrocious. After my dad upgraded it uh, so I could play it at all. And everything was in slow motion. Oh, the memories. I, I do remember games like that. What am I thinking of? I know that Dark Sun, I think it was Dark Sun 2, there was a moment where I min-maxed the game so much from a spell perspective to like defeat the last battle that the entire system just chugged. Just like I couldn't see what was happening on the screen. You just cross your fingers and hope they didn't crash i would crash it trying to yeah get that fight done it was that one it was massive orion 2 i remember i remember being up on school nights and i was in high school at the time <laughs> uh yeah and it would be my parents would know i was up and i'd be up from three in, oh my god until three in the morning four in the morning five in the morning having to wake up for school at 8 8 30 8 15 right Whew. Uh, so yeah, sleep in three hours and then moving on because I'd get into these massive space battles and I'd line everything up and I'd be prepared to go. I'd overkill it, but then to get through one of the rounds and every ship would have to do its turn. <laughs> and you're just like, oh my God, I, I just need to sleep. I'm going to see the sun. I'm going to see the sun. <laughs> Those are great memories. Anyways. Uh, but I think Witcher 2 could be a more coherent story on its own and isn't as defined by 1 or 3. While Assassin's Creed 2 is the first part of a trilogy, uh, gameplay wise, it's Assassin's Creed is greater than Witcher. Well, well, Witcher 2, greater than Witcher 2. I probably agree with that. I, I If it's anything like Witcher 1, uh, I got used to Witcher 1 mechanics, gameplay mechanics. I wasn't a fan of them. So Assassin's Creed, although it was clunky at times and I got frustrated at times, I loved the mechanics. Of which I loved the mechanics. I love everything about the gameplay of Assassin's Creed. As simple-ish as it was, I loved it. I did. Uh, might not have totally come across. Uh, I think the content was also very interesting near the end, especially where it kind of reveals that it could be more than one, right? Uh, I kind of got that kind of like the deeper kind of subtext stuff of it, the potential of the symbolism stuff kind of got, really got to me, but the game, the gameplay won, won out. Uh, and Dishonored as well, I love it so much. The world is just so twisted and dark and gives me the good shivers. Uh, Deus Ex is the only one I haven't played and don't have much interest in, interest in playing, although I'd be interested in watching it uh, to know what it is. Now, uh, don't, you can look up the first game, you'll see how like crummy it looks, uh, and the second one. And I think the third one was uh, badly reviewed, and so I'm not even going to give that one a shot. I'm going to go straight to the fourth one, which is Human Revolution. We have Frederick Stein Ackerblad, Assassin's Creed 2 because it's one of my favorite games. Uh, also, the only one of the games on the list I actually liked enough to play through to the end. Ah, oh, interesting. Well, we'll see if we can like at least get you to watch all the way through to the end. <laughs> we have Try Again 66, which are two. It is a great game. I played all of the games on the list, but this one, uh, this was the only one that left enough of an impact to come back and play it again later, even beyond the recommended two playthroughs. If I'd have to choose a second, it would be Assassin's Creed 2, but only if I actually played it myself. For watching, the second would be Dose X, the new ones. Yes, the new ones. Talk about it. Uh, frame uh, Gaming. Uh, hey, could you play Plants vs. Zombies 2? Your gameplay of the first one was great. Yes. Yes, I will eventually play Plants vs. Zombies 2. Uh, I loved Plants vs. Zombies uh, more than I thought. I, this, this When I played Plants vs. Zombies, because I got it for free on the Origin platform. I don't know, know how or why. or It's when I installed it, I was like, oh, you can get Plants vs. Zombies for free. I've always wanted to know what this game And one of my friends was super addicted to it, whereas uh, like some of the last gaming sessions I would run as GM, uh, he, he'd get caught playing Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> I'm like, stop being distracted, son of a Anyways, so uh, yes, I will play it. But first, I'm going to play the, I guess, post game of Plants vs. Zombies. It's like you, you clear it the first time and then stuff unlocks. And I want to have fun playing some of that unlockable content before uh, getting Plants vs. Zombies 2. But yes, fun that you brought that up. Yes, I will play it at some point. I need to figure out how to squeeze that in. Uh, Intergalactic Skank. <laughs> That's an interesting name. Uh, Witcher. Fun fact, uh, there's an Assassin's Creed Easter egg in Witcher 2. It's pretty funny. 
uh, Visionary Prism. There's a lot of new names coming out with these posts. I love it. Uh, Visionary Prism, Dishonored, because I feel it takes stealth to another level. I didn't know this game was super about stealth. I knew that it was a stealthy kind of component to the game, but I like reading about that. This might, might be a different, it might be a fun, different play style to kind of get into. Um, so it takes it to another level and the story is very well put together. Also the game overall is pretty fluid, which makes for an immersive experience. I like that. The Nug Prince, Dishonored, Witches, and Rats. That's all I need to say. Yes, I love both of those things. Uh, from a setting perspective, from a genre perspective, I like the idea of it. If it has anything to do with the plague, uh, great rats and plague go hand in hand and the designs i've seen i was like i could see like this being something about plague but uh we have fake gamer girl dishonored besides being the only game i'm familiar with i've started the assassin's creed series but haven't gotten far it's an amazing story with super creative world building i like that I like to hear that uh it gives you a lot of freedom uh with play style with, with oh my god i don't know what wrt means with? okay i feel so lost I feel like a new. Uh, while still being mostly linear, uh, which I think you'd appreciate. I would. Yes, I need I need a break. I need more linear-ish games. To be honest, I think Witcher 2 is going to fulfill that too. Uh, all, obviously, Assassin's Creed would do the same. But yes, I need less meandering in my life right now. <laughs> uh, one of those games uh, that has my heart, honestly. So yeah, I like to hear that. Even though it got a low grade up there, uh, it's it's probably up there for me. It's up there just from from a visual perspective. It's probably It's higher than Star Wars easily, but different no context no no context pull I'm not gonna explain why those these are on separate lists uh, Assassin's Creed 2 my context. Uh, I want to see more of your videos. Thank you. I want you to watch more <laughs> uh, But can't see Bioshock nor Witcher because I haven't played them. I totally get that Alec. Uh, that's part of my uh, Issue with uh, the Dragon Age content and Mass Effect, but more Dragon Age and Mass Effect is that There were a lot of channels that in the early days of the channel uh, I would find and it would be people playing the, some one of the Dragon Age games probably Inquisition at the time and um, I wanted to watch I wanted to watch them, but I'm like I, I can't I haven't played Origins. I don't even know what these games are about. I can't. I can't. I, I tried to go into some live streams, and within five, ten minutes, uh, the comments would start going off about names I didn't recognize. I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. I can't do this. I don't want to know anything about anything. I just want to be blind. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I totally get that. And now that I've finished, I've got a couple bookmarked, and occasionally I go in and watch other people's Let's Plays. We have uh, Bethesda, uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. <laughs> Wait, it's not on the poll? <laughs> That's it. You're canceled, sir. Elder Scrolls. Oblivion, huh? I've heard people talking about Oblivion. That's the third one, right? I, I'm almost, I know, don't know anything about it. I think it's Oblivion. I got back into gaming because of Skyrim. Not because, but that was the game I got <laughs> when I was like, I haven't gamed in almost 10 years. And by that, I mean, I, I played MMOs, but I didn't play single player games where they were just, you know, they weren't MMOs. There's an entirely different gaming experience there. And my experience with MMOs wasn't even that I was a gaming experience. It was just, a, a rabbit hole experience of like a lot of time uh, just spent I, I'm not gonna get into it right now I talked a little bit about it on the channel but it made me stop gaming for the next five years I cut I cold turkey uh, games uh, and I did other stuff in particular comics I wanted to get into figuring out the production of comics and uh, maybe starting an indie press and stuff like that and I just spent five years sort of Dis disengaging from that rabbit hole, from that uh, addiction. And then I started this channel as a way to control my addictive personality uh, when it came to these things, this kind of escapism, this immersive escapism. Um, and I felt it happening again because of Skyrim and um, Fallout New Vegas. I got both of those games uh, off Steam and 2015 evaporated. And I, at that point I was like, I can't do this. I need to disengage again, and I need to um, I need to do I need to control I need to find a way to control this. And so I was like, well, if I start, and then I was watching uh, Seth the Kai videos and Markiplier. I'm watching a lot of videos at the time, but there was just enough things that I was watching where I got to their milestone videos, and I'm like, okay, well, if I create a YouTube channel, I can maybe control because I would play unlimited chunks of time, and then I would need to edit, and then I would need to get them in, onto the website, upload, and it would it would pace me out. It would pace me uh, and so it's helped me a lot it's helped a lot because I get to have the fun uh, I get to explore I get to engage with people and and I get to um, what's it called I, I in the late in the last I guess year because of Bioshock and because of Dragon Age 
but Dragon Age Inquisition more and Mass Effect 3. I think those three games started, but all because I think of, it started with Bioshock, where uh, I started just opening up about my other interests, like philosophy, like writing deconstruction, uh, things like that. Like m my love of myth and history and folklore and oral tradition. And, and I started to bring that into the Let's Plays. And it seems like people are enjoying it. And those that don't enjoy it, I mean, they leave. And that's cool with me. Because Anyways, so uh, yes, I lost. I don't know what I was talking about. Anymore. Okay, so we have Matt Damon. Uh, we have Assassin's Creed 2, the game's atmosphere, the time of the game, and the cities, uh, Rome, Florence, Venice, gave me great chills. And I felt I want to travel back in time. Uh, Assassin's Creed was uh, and live there forever. I, I might have mangled the way I read that. Um, but yeah, enough said. So, uh, me too. Uh, this might be my earliest memories of the IP. Uh, I was so blind to this IP. I mean, I knew there was a pirate game of Assassin's Creed. I guess I knew that there was the Civil War version too. I remember seeing images of the Civil War, but I literally thought all of Assassin's Creed, it started and took place in the Renaissance era. I somehow forgot about the origins origins of the game, like the Middle Eastern stuff. I don't know, I thought this game took place in the, in the renaissance <laughs> for a long time. These games have been out for a long time. And then the job I was working at, the, the guy was sitting by beside, he he would buy all the Assassin's Creed games. I'm like, well, uh, are they good? And, I was like, and he's like, I haven't played them. <laughs> he played the first one, I think. And I'm like, why do you keep buying them? Because it's an awesome franchise. I'm like, you gotta play them. <laughs> and then I was like, well, and then I started talking about what I remembered of it and he's like no it's not just about the renaissance no and he's like no you have to play it then if you don't know what they're about you have to play the first one <laughs> it's like because then you learn about the animus and all that stuff and the, the whole the whole memory thing no idea what spoiled that for me was the movie trailer I watched the movie trailer and I was like what is this is this another take why do they have like this guy in a modern thing with some machine I was like oh wait does that mean that they're just sending their themselves back is this a mental transfer is this a so i didn't know how it worked i didn't know what it meant but at that point i knew there were shenanigans so that spoiled it for me i would have been completely blind it would have been a bit of a yeah which would have been, would have been weird because like a, a decade has passed it's embarrassing it gets to points where sometimes i'm like it's just embarrassing for me to say what i don't know <laughs> so do i even talk about it by the way where i was what i was actually going to talk about uh the reason why i liked it is uh in fine arts my my main major is, is fine arts and uh one of the main uh, areas, eras of art history uh, that was super influential on me was the Renaissance era. Uh, Rome, Florence, Venice, all that stuff, uh, the Medici's, all the, the entire, the, the way the patron system worked. Uh, Leonardo uh, da Vinci, probably the most inspirational artist for me. Michelangelo is kind of up there, not at the turtles as well. <laughs> all the turtles. <laughs> but but no, but as an artist, Lee, and not just not because of his art, the, the mind on Leonardo da Vinci, like I've got a book, of, it, it's, oh, he was so crazy. Again, I slow down. My nose is very itchy. The point is, is that it's just the entire, just little things, like the idea of like you'd see a piece of art and me learning about how he would write backwards, you know, uh, so that people wouldn't, it was like he, he wrote his own like script that would like, it wouldn't so much hide messages, but the way he, it just, he would do that. And it's like, what, how did you even like come to think about, like, this was like normal for you. Cause you repeatedly did this stuff. And it's like the, the, the inventions, the kind of draftsmanship he had on putting concept to paper hundreds of years before these things could have even been possible but that this man was even contemplating you know things like that was amazing and th just his his eye for detail his 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 ability to achieve that perfection you know carving marvel and doing paintings like the guy was a friggin genius you know and yeah everything about it was uh was amusing to me one of the papers i wrote was on the brunel alshi dome uh random information man i didn't do very well in that course because there's a lot of information i was very addicted and i kept on leaving it to go play in the arcade i was playing soul caliber 2 i was playing turtles and the x-men and i was trying to break all those games I, cra I i i would play them until i completed them and then i got bad grades so lesson <laughs> It wasn't MMOs. Well, it didn't start with MMOs. I have a very addictive personality when it comes to video games and immersion. Point being, and ADD. I got a little bit of that, maybe. Just 
No, we're done. I'm going to end this episode. <laughs> Same time, I'm giving you too much information about myself. We're going to end this episode. And it was commented earlier about doing more of these. I will. I think these are a lot of fun. They've been a lot of fun to record. I didn't think I talked about so many different things as I went, but uh, it makes for, I, I, it's fun. What I'm saying is it's fun. So hopefully it's fun for all of you. Um, as you can see, there's like, just like a video game. I have an experience. It triggers some idea and then I can talk about some other things, some random things here and there. It's happening when I read your comments. Now you guys see, I'm doing it not relatively live because I've kind of pre-read these like, you know, earlier in the day, but uh, you can kind of see like why I love the comment section so much and why I love engaging with the community so much. And I, I, there's a bit of dread in me of, you know, one day I won't be able to keep up with everything, right? And, and right now it's at a really good place, but I feel like this community section, if I can get people starting to realize this area exists on the channel, uh, if you wanna go check it out once in a while and see what's out there, uh, then you can kind of see like, the enthusiasm I have when I read your comments and I, uh, I the way I'm, I'm not putting on an act I read your guys's comments and it's triggering memories and it's like oh yeah I kind of love that dude right now. and I get to talk about it and if I'm recording I just press record and just go nuts with it I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit I do see my my video editor is like when I move too quick it seems to be tripping up and and doing some strange stuff so hopefully uh, these videos don't look like complete hell uh, but if they do they got to go up because I have no choice uh, and I don't want to lose this content because it's too raw I'm not gonna do these again so hopefully these worked out hopefully you enjoy them i'll be back and do more of these when i come up with other ideas i do have them but i'm gonna to try to chill i don't want to bombard you all with polls but i do think these are fun uh they might come once a week so there you go i'm gonna wrap this one up here and i will catch you in the next one don't forget to explore engage and inspire buddy peace